you're in an elevator, you have an audience, you've found a potential customer or a potential investor, and that person's trapped with you for 30 seconds or a minute, and you need to get them hooked. An elevator pitch is a short, succinct statement that you can right away understand what the business is all about. The pitch that I initially created, I remember that it was more focused on the problem that I was trying to solve uh, and the, the technology that would go into solving the problem. One of the biggest issues that we have with people joining us at the Clean Tech Open is that they have a very long, complicated explanation of what their technology does. Infrared based image processing technology to detect human presence. It's not a technical description of the engineering behind the venture. First and foremost, it's a prototype of your business. One of my first responsibilities when I came on board was to go seek angel investor or VC funding. I figured I'm only going to have 30 seconds with these folks, and while I can't tell them everything, I need to figure out how to get their interest. A good elevator pitch is when I uh, immediately think, I need to know more about this. Tell me more. What you need to do is, is really get the basic facts out. What kind of a business you're in, who's it for, what makes it special, and how are you going to make money at it? We had to write reams of material to create different elevator pitches and then narrow it down. You start to apply filters. Is there technical jargon in there? Get rid of it. If there's language in there that acronyms, get rid of them. If there's something that isn't absolutely core to your business, get it out of there. A goal is to fit this in 30 seconds. True, we can't be redundant. We should get rid of it. Be short and to the point. We push for a Twitter-like 140 character limit. It needs to be that simple, that crisp, and that clear in your mind. Looking at the horizon right now, how would you describe the environment for investment? At the Clean Tech Open, we teach them the process of boiling that down to benefits, to explaining something in language that your mother or my mother could understand. Keep it generic in the beginning so that you can provide a quick overview of what your solution's about find out what the other person's interests are, and then customize the rest of it. So if you're talking to me, it would be of interest, how would this impact improve our Chevron operations? The VCs don't care what technology you are using. They wanted to hear, where's the money? Part of the process in perfecting the pitch was thinking about it in terms of telling a story. Make sure you can paint the picture. If you can form an image in someone's mind, you've done the most important thing to hook them in, which is to create something that they, they won't easily forget. Ready? You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. On my mark? Yep. It's very straightforward, oh, but the real trick comes in practicing. Great. great job and listening to what people respond to and adapting it and changing it constantly. So we talk to more end users as we are talking to new business partners. The message is being recrafted on a day-to-day basis. You've got to practice, 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 and ultimately you'll, you'll get it right. So the process of evolution continues, and there is a new pitch. Santolit has developed a new product that balances home comfort with energy efficiency. Our first product that is Smart HVAC uses innovative sensors, smart algorithms, and wireless battery operated smart vents. It enables us to learn unique living patterns. Based on those learned patterns, then we can condition only the occupied rooms, thereby improving comfort while saving 30% in energy use. So how's that? <laughs> Good job.